celebrating 15 years of this beloved foolery. You know that it would be untrue. You know that I would be a liar. If I was to say to you, Central Coast, I know I'd be a liar. Hey! Hey, there we go. Come on, Jeff and Jeremy, light my fire. I like how you fit it in there, Greg. Jeff and Jeremy, light my fire. Oh, yeah. yeah. Try to set the night on fire. fire. Jeff and Jeremy in the morning on 93.3 KZOZ. Yeah. Pretty excited to be talking to Lewis Black. He's coming this fall. He's going to be at the Fremont. Whoa. 15 miles an hour? You can get to your destination five minutes earlier, and all you have to do is give up your dignity. <laughs> there's a lot of things to hate about these scooter sharing programs. For starters, there's no dock. People just leave them lying around anywhere for the next person to find them. That's not sharing, that's lettering. <laughs> you can't do that with anything else. Hey, how about I launch a dog poop sharing app? <laughs> I'm not leaving my dog on the sidewalk. I'm sharing it with the community. Hey, Lewis, thanks for taking a few minutes. We appreciate it. Jeff and Jeremy here. Good morning. How are you doing? Uh, delightful. I have Every a qu- day is more joyous. <laughs> like, this is the off the rails tour. How do you get any more off the rails than you've been previously? Uh, I think we've gone further and further off the rails. Now that we have, yeah. We're, we've managed to find a new place. Now we're fighting over what reality is, okay? Well, you got to quit that. Okay? We can't be doing that, all right? If we want to function as a people, we have to agree on what's real, okay? And I think watching, yeah, the us- news, watching the news is almost like a false sense of reality nowadays. It feels that way. I think a lot of people have lost faith in the news. And when you watch the news and then you turn it off, you're like, this, this, this is a movie, right? Like, I remember this movie from the 90s. Yeah, but then but then to sit there and look at your phone and think that's real uh, also is pushing <laughs> the envelope, isn't it? Oh, look. Oh, here's someone I don't know sending me information from I don't know where. So it's, you know, it's like unbelievable. It's just extraordinary. It's, you, it's, it's, it's beyond belief. Do you try to detach from it, like consciously? Yeah. Uh, sometimes I just run at the uh, flat screen TV and see if I can uh, hit my head properly and get, the, get it back in order. My head, not the TV. Yeah. Do I detach? Yeah, I do. I mean, I'm, I'm down to, uh, I'm good for an hour and a half in the morning. I switch between all of them. But, you know, MSNBC and Fox don't count anymore, so stop it. You're they, not news channels. Stop they cancel, they cancel stop. each other out. They do, but they do. Well, it's nonsense, okay? And then once Zucker, Zucker is out of CNN, so we have to see what happens next and, and see if they actually return to the actually doing news on a regular basis. I mean, I find myself watching the six, six, the, you know, the uh, the evening news like I'm uh, 500 years old, but it, it's the only place I kind, I kind of go, oh, they actually got resumes from people. <laughs> Have you ever uh, do you ever watched Tucker Carlson? Have you ever seen that show? I can't watch it because I start barking like a dog and biting my own feet. <laughs> no, I can't watch him. You, you're gonna, I'm going to sit there and listen to someone defend Putin. Are you? What planet am I on? He uh, recently had Kid Rock on, and Kid Rock said he's uncancelable. Who? Tucker? Yeah, no, no, Kid Rock. He says he's uncancelable. Himself. Is, I didn't even know that was a word, but I guess that's a new word. Uncancelable. Well, well good for good for Kid. I did uh, three USO tours with him. Did you really? Yeah. Well, and we immediately decided, literally within 15 minutes <laughs> of meeting each other, that we were going to have to go, okay, um, we're not going to talk about much of anything. <laughs> <laughs> And it's really, it was extraordinary, but we, you know, but we, but we did, you know, we agreed on the, you know, everything that was important about what we were doing. So you're coming, and, uh, you're, you're coming. And I saw him afterwards and we, yeah. we get along in terms of that, but I certainly, i watched some of the stuff that he does now and I kind of go, okay, well. Good luck. Now, when I, what, what I want to ask you about Kid Rock is, you know, he puts on these big shows. He's got all these girls wearing hardly any clothes dancing around him. Like, you know, it's you know, all these girls are in. I mean, what's it like backstage? Are, are these girls all around or is it is this just a stage thing? Or did you, you know? 
He, well, it, he certainly didn't introduce me to them. <laughs> I don't get those perks. <laughs> I get to meet him afterwards. You'd have to spend more than 15 minutes talking to him and listening to him yes, in order to exactly. get that. Exactly, yeah. No, it's, uh, uh, I'd have to agree with him a lot more. <laughs> <laughs> Friendship's always But we did. Price. We actually, one night, we, we did have, we bonded over a few things. We had to, they wanted to send us, they, we were really exhausted, and, then they, and we were kind of like the two in charge in part, and they wanted to send us. <clears throat> they wanted us to do a show, put us in a plane, do something, and we just went, no, no, we agreed on it. Nope, nope, nope. Uh, we're not do. we'll die. No, we can't do this. You know, we're, you know, you can't, you just, you know, if you want us to come back next year, you can't kill us this year, so. Talking to Lewis Black right now. He's coming to the Fremont Theater on the 7th of October. Tickets on sale this Friday. Um, you make your way to this area. Do you have any ties, like quite frequently, do you have any ties here or is it just a convenient stop in between Los Angeles and San Francisco? No, it's, and it's beautiful, you know, and it's, uh, and, uh, and they set me, you know, and I, and I, and I do a tour by bus. So it's always a matter of, um, finding spots that are, you know, that are on the way. Cause otherwise you're flying from place to place to place and I'm not doing that, you know. <laughs> So not, wait, you, you, I, we, you, we 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 carry a lot of equipment. We used to carry merch. We you know when we you know b- before when I could go out and I could meet people and sign things and do all of that stuff. So um, that's why and uh, and it's you know and it's it's gorgeous. You know, so it's do you actually do. you travel on the bus? You don't fly from town to town and jump on the bus every once in a while. No, I mean I'll go. I'll, sometimes we I, I will fly. To where I meet the bus, and then it's literally four or five days on the bus. But if I can, if I'm in an area of like if I'm out west, it's crazy to fly back and then fly back to the you know it's nuts. You fly back for two days at home and then fly back <laughs> to the west coast. No, so I wander around and stare at stuff. <laughs> I mean, you get to see a lot of America. Yeah, you do, and uh, which is good. Is it uh, good? So it gives you a certain amount of faith in it. It does. So. Okay, good. That's that's a good thing. Like because a lot, yeah, a lot of people because, like we talk you know, about this um, alternate reality. What's occurring, well, because the reality is is that um, the the people who are yelling and screaming and losing their minds are not the majority. Okay, and and, that, and part of the problem is the majority for, has forgotten that they are the majority, and the majority really is in the middle. And most people agree on what the, it is that they want. Okay, so if, we, we you know, and there need to be adults in the room. That's really part of the problem. I can't fix everything in one day. <laughs> Next tour should be the adults. Oh, are the adults don't. in the room tour? <laughs> yeah, yeah, adults only. <laughs> Take this, and then in. all they invite is ten year olds. <laughs> I haven't missed a show that you've done here. I might have missed the first one, but then I, I've been to the last three. And uh, I oh, well, it's, thank you. It's it's you're fantastic oh, every so time. Fun. I got to tell you, the last time I went, I got a migraine headache. I laughed so hard. So <laughs> I, I encourage everybody just to say, screw it, screw reality, screw life for a minute. Go entertain yourself. Go get a good laugh in. Get your tickets this Friday, Lewis. Thank you for taking a few minutes with us. So we know you got a busy day. But we appreciate it. Well, I appreciate it, and let the folks know. Uh, you go, you, if you want, you can join the fan club. Um, you go to lewisblack uh, dot com, and uh, you can join the fan club, and you can get the best seats in the house. Which is um, uh, so they, you know, you know that um, you can you can do that without dealing with scalpers. You're not dealing with anything, and seriously, the best seats in the house. Yeah, you can um, get those tickets uh, starting uh, right now. Right now, we're, we're, right they're, now, they're and, on then, sale. and you beat everybody else to the punch. Yeah, very so cool. It's well worth it, and uh, and you don't have to spend uh, seven thousand dollars. <laughs> right, <laughs> it's an intimate setting. I mean, it's not often that you can see somebody like Lewis Black at the Fremont. Uh, Lewis Black got <laughs> LewisBlack dot com is the website, and we'll see you in the fall. Yeah, I look forward to it, and hopefully you won't get a migraine. Take some, uh, take something beforehand. <laughs> yeah, I'll take some ibuprofen before I get there. I, I think that's the problem. The stuff he takes beforehand is what's giving him the migraine. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I really appreciate it, guys. Thank you. Spending four hours in a box together every day can make you say crazy things. Don't go crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff and Jeremy in the morning. Subscribe to the Jeff and Jeremy podcast now on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google, and YouTube. It's your Central Coast commute-friendly podcast.